Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Chris from PCRX. So we're back again for episode two of a tabletop review. So this time we're going to be looking at our second tank, the Zvizda T26 model. So last time we actually reviewed this guy right here, the uh, Zvizda BT5. And we took a look at this model and we devised kind of a rating system of quality, detail, and accessories. So last time we rated this guy quality for four because all these Vista models are not too bad. They have decent plastic and stuff. For detail, we rated it three. They don't always have the best detail, and this one is actually one of the better ones, but it's still not quite up to par as some of the other uh, mainstream models. And for accessories, one, because these Vista tanks basically have nothing as far as accessories. There's no customization whatsoever in this tank. So today we're gonna move on to the T26. So as far as quality, First we'll do a little uh, zoom in on the, the tank so you can see. This is also one of my newer, better paint jobs here, kind of like the last one. It was one of the first ones I painted, but I went back over and repainted them again with some of the newer techniques. So we'll kick on the light here so you can get a little better look at this guy here. So we'll just do a 360 spin. You can kind of see all the details. There's, like I said, there's not too many accessories or anything with this. There isn't even proper machine gun mounts. So that's why we usually give the detail only about a three. But it's definitely good enough for tabletop wargaming and whatnot. All right, so let's take a look at the box. As far as the box, uh, it's another one of these plain, plain boxes with just the single tank in it. And there's almost no accessories that come with this. Like I said, it's basically just the parts for the tank, which is very simple, which is nice to have. Snap together, but of course, gluing is definitely recommended. This little play card, which is for their version of their game. And as it says right here, one unit flag. So that's once again, like I talked in the last video, is for their Zvizda tabletop game, which is completely different from anything else you'd use this for, like Flames of War, Battle Group, or something. So anyway, as far as the review for this tank, so it's still a pretty nice one, and it's not anywhere near as bad as some of their older ones, like uh, their Panzers or some of their first models they put out, and they're definitely not that good. So we'll talk about those later down the line. But as far as the T26, uh, quality is decent again. It's a four out of five. No real problems there, no real complaints. It's um, decent plastic. It's a little delicate, but as long as you're you're not too hard on it, it's not gonna break or anything when you put it together. Plastic's fine, prime it with normal uh, spray paint and stuff. It's good to go. So quality was four. Detail, once again, is three. There's no tools on this one, but it does have a lot of nice texturing right here. As far as the back of the tank, it's got a lot of little things that you can do some good dry brushing on and stuff. And then customization and accessories, once again, is just a one. Because as you can see on the back of this box, literally nothing comes with this. There's no way to change out the guns or the tracks or the top of the tank or anything. It's just that's what you get. No, no customization whatsoever. But like we talked about, as far as usage for these tanks, they're awesome. If you need to get some cheap ones to test on or if you want to use these for real simple paint jobs for tabletop gaming and stuff, they're awesome. So that's pretty much it as far as what I have to say for the T26 review. So next time, let me go ahead and grab the box real quick. Next time we're going to redo a review on this guy right here, the KV-1. So this one is actually one of my favorite ones to paint. Not the most detailed, but we'll talk about it in the next video. So that's pretty much it for this video. This has been Chris from PCRX and second episode in our miniatures review from Zvista T26. So thanks a lot for watching the video. Please like and subscribe because it really helps the channel. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them below. And if you also have any requests or suggestions, also put those below because we really like those. So thanks a lot again. Have a good day.